What's up guys, Kplays here. I know everyone's excited for the new Behemoth Hunt coming soon, and I've seen a lot of people putting together some all-out tanking sets in preparation for the fight. Shields will make that role a lot easier by allowing you to block incoming attacks, but I'll let you in on a little secret. You don't need a shield to be a tank. Using a weapon capable of blocking like Lance, Gun Lance, or Charge Blade will definitely be a simple and effective approach to staying alive while the target's on you, sure, but it's not mandatory. All you really need to be able to do is stand up to Behemoth's focused attacks without dying. So for that I've put together two set templates to share with you guys. Introducing the Evasion Tank and the Heal Tank. Now the thought process behind the Evasion Tank setup revolves around the fact that Behemoth has some heavy hitting attacks with wide hitboxes, but they're also somewhat telegraphed beforehand. Evade Window helps you deal with that by extending the invincibility frames during rolls, meaning that if you can see it coming and react, you can dodge right through it. It's your earplugs, it's your tremor resistance, it's your shield without a shield, all rolled up into one convenient skill. With good enough timing, very little should be able to touch you in this set. The key phrase here though is good timing. It is still possible to take damage if you misjudge a dodge, so you'll need to stay on your toes a bit even with the increased safety. In general, shooting to roll directly through an attack just as it hits and being clear of it right as you get to your feet is ideal for avoiding the damage. Up next we have our healing tank set. This is a bit different in that it allows you to take a few bumps and scrapes every now and then. It's just that unless they nearly kill you, you won't really care. This strategy will evolve around giving yourself a large amount of health so that you're left with a larger remaining health bar than normal and then healing away that damage just as fast as you receive it with a recovery up boosted health augment. The more aggressive you are, the faster you'll heal yourself and the harder you'll be to kill. Tool Specialist is a great addition to this approach because it'll let you use mantles like Rocksteady, Temporal, or Evasion more often for ignoring the knockback effects of attacks and staying on the offense. While any weapon can use either of these strategies, the Ruin variants of Lunastra weapons are ideal for heal tanking because of the additional recovery they get from the built-in set bonus. Just keep in mind that unless you're using the Hunting Horn like I am, you'll have to add in some extra affinity somewhere to make up for not having that free 20% from songs. These two sets should come in handy for any of you that use shieldless weapons that still want to hold down Behemoth's attention for the team. Without having to slot in guard skills, some heavy hitters like Greatsword will be able to go all in for damage, and impact based weapons like Hammers or Hunting Horns could apply KO to put Behemoth down for some free attack openings. Of course, this isn't to say that Lance, Gun Lance, and Charge Blade wouldn't put us to work up there, just that your tanking choices aren't limited to those three classes. I hope these suggestions can help expand options for some of you out there. With that, I'll leave you guys with the rest of this clip show of Behemoth's moveset so that you can prepare for what we'll be up against soon. This has been another K-Plays, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.